my views on Trump are, uh, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent, you know what I mean? Like, uh, he doesn't really affect my brand, you know what I mean? The Necro brand doesn't get too much affected by anything that he does. Um, let me start off saying that I used to like Trump back in the days when, um, you know, he was doing the real estate shit, you know what I mean? And putting out all those books. I used to uh, fuck with those books, you know what I mean? And just, you know, read them. Uh, kind of like when Amazon first was popping with fucking, you know, um, selling books before they blew up and sold everything. I used to buy a lot of books on Amazon. So I had copped all the Trump books, you know, and um, just looking for inspiration because you always saw Trump as a kid you know, um, popping, you know what I mean, and he, he looked like a dude that was balling, you know, you see pictures, you go online, there's pictures him with him chilling with Mike Tyson, this was a dude that I was looking to get inspiration from, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, I mean, when I think back on his books, they, they were cool, you know what I mean, uh, they, uh, they didn't blow me away, like other dudes, certain dudes were a little bit more influential on me, maybe, or the way that, you know, I, uh, digested the knowledge, like Robert Kiyosaki or whatever, the rich dad guy, his books were, were, were pretty ill at that time, and, um, some of the Tony Robbins shit, but, um, back then I saw Trump, you know, as a, uh, just like, you know, a dude putting out content that was, you know, that you could use to inspire yourself as a hustler. Um, as far as the president goes, you know, um, one thing is, you know, he, he, he insults a lot of, from what I'm seeing, uh, the Latino community. And that's something that I can't fuck with because I don't, you know, I don't support any racism. So if you're, if you're the type of dude that you're putting out racist shit, you know, automatically I don't fuck with that. You know what I mean? Um... A lot of my fans, you know, especially on certain markets like L.A. and California, it's Latinos. I would never want my fans to be insulted or to feel that I supported somebody that's insulting them. Uh, one crazy thing that I noticed, though, is it kind of seems like it's 50-50. I come across some Latinos that... Um, you know, or whether they're Mexican or they're Argentine, or, or if it's someone that's from Argentina or, you know, different um, South American or, or, or Latin American countries, it's like 50-50 where some do fuck with Trump, actually, regardless of the way that he talks and, 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 and his crazy shit, a lot of them fuck with him. Like, for instance, one person that comes to mind is Armando. Shut that alarm off. Armando from... Uh, underground hip hop blog, who you know I consider somebody part of the hip hop community in California, and he's also uh, I think he's from Argentina or whatever. Um, he's Latino, you know what I mean, and and he he likes Trump, from what he told me, you know. So there's certain dudes that even if they're Latin, they fuck with Trump. They don't care about all that other bullshit that he does or whatever. And then there's some people that are Latino that feel very strongly about Trump and the bullshit and, and the insulting stuff that he might say. So the, I, 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 I witnessed two sides of it, you know, where, where I'm seeing, you know, some of the Latin community fuck with Trump and then some of them just despise him, you know what I mean? So me, I'm a little indifferent because I just don't even care about politics, you know what I mean? But y'all want to know what I think of him and you, you know, I'm giving you a more in-depth view of how I viewed Trump. I viewed Trump uh, at the beginning as just some tycoon, you know what I mean? Some, some dude that was getting money, whether or not he got it from his father or not, you know what I mean? Like, he was a dude that was, you know, he managed buildings, you know, and he, he, he I read the stories about how he built you know, hotels in, in, in certain areas of Manhattan where people didn't believe in him, you know, and they thought he couldn't do it and all that. And I was amazed when this dude became president, just like it was kind of shocking. Like, wow, he actually did it? Because you didn't look at Trump as that kind of dude. And then, you know, to flip it to a, a different a subject area, um, a lot of people get insulted. They're like, how can the president be a dude that says he grabs a girl's pussy? 
you know, people know me as the sexist. They know me as, you know, a dude that raps porn. And while I am very respectful of every chick that I get with, you know what I mean? Regardless of what you might fool yourself to believe that maybe I wouldn't be, you know what I mean? But I always treat people the way they treat me, regardless. So I might rap crazy, rough sex type shit, but that's a rap. You know what I mean? Like all rappers rap about murder, but are you really killing a thousand people? Like Fat Joe made that point. He killed 800 people in his raps, but you know what I mean? He'd be doing time, you know, for the rest of his life if he did that, you know? We all exaggerate even if we're gangster. So sure, I like rough sex and all that, but you know, I treat chicks with respect. But when you're with certain chicks, some chicks love rough sex. Some girls want they pussy grabbed, you know what I mean? And bottom line, that's a fact. Some chicks are into that shit. So I'm personally not surprised or offended when Trump, you know, talks about, you know, when he said that. That didn't bother me. But I, I, I understand that that's going to bother, you know, um, all these politically correct people, PC women and females, and they're bothered by it. But, like, a necro ain't going to be bothered by it. And I don't think any of my fans that are Latino, Mexican, or from any... South American country, and if they're into brutal shit, metal, and all that, and I don't think they're bothered that a dude is talking about grabbing a girl's pussy. That shit is humorous to me, if anything. Um, I think at the end of the day, all the tweets and all, and all the, the Twitter shit and all, the, uh, all that hoopla and all that fucking propaganda, whatever you call it, or, or, or crazy talk, it doesn't matter if in the end, what's the end result of any dude having power. Is he doing good or is he doing bad? I, uh, I can't personally say. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. You tell me in the comments, is Trump doing good or is Trump not doing good? You know what I'm saying? I would actually like you to tell me that. I'll learn from y'all. You know what I mean? And I would love to see how the Necro Latin fan base, Mexican or a different, you know, country, that, that's from South America or Latin America or whatever, you let me know what you think. You know what I mean? I'd like to open up that discussion since I know there's going to be some of y'all that fuck with them and some don't. I just thought it would be interesting to just have a, an official video, you know, with me and my fans and we t we discuss Trump. And, and, you know, I understand if you hate the dude's fucking guts. You know what I mean? Me, do I hate the dude's guts? I mean... You know, it's like, it's weird, because you see certain dudes, right, like a Kanye, and he's just totally fucking with Trump, right, and and just, I want to throw it out there, the fucking Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live, if I'm correct, fucking skit on Kanye, and Trump is incredible, that shit was fucking banging, that had me laughing, um, yeah, I mean, Kanye can be a straight clown, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get what he's doing, If you know, uh, he, he, he can be another discussion, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, you know, you got certain people like that that fuck with him, Trump, and then you'll see, like, all these people shitting on Kanye because they hate Trump. And, you know, are there ulterior motives of why these people are hating Trump? Sometimes you see dudes and they're acting like they're pro you know, a cause for their people, and is is that just them trying to get good press? Do you believe that these people really fucking believe what they're saying? I don't know if I trust anybody with anything. You know what I mean? It seems like everyone has a fucking agenda. I got an agenda. My agenda, keep it 100 with you, is to build my fucking... YouTube channel to 100 subscribers and to have all my videos get massive views and and have that lead to me selling more merch and have more of you go into my Spotify page and have more of you, you know, me giving you content, you being happy, you know, feeling like I'm giving you value, I'm opening discussions, I'm giving you a deeper look into me because if I give you Notorious Goriest, it's an album, it's me sitting down creating art, it's like watching a De Niro movie. But I would love to know more about De Niro. I would love to know, okay, well, what do you think about this, De Niro? Oh, De Niro, do you like the new Supergirl TV show or is that corny shit? Because sometimes you'll, you'll bug out and be like, yeah, oh, yo, I watch fucking The Resident. You know, you wouldn't think De Niro fucks with medical TV shows. So if this gives you an insight into me, that's good for my brand. You know what I mean? That's my agenda. My agenda is pure. 
in my opinion. It's, it's for me to live a relaxing freedom lifestyle to give you content because it brings me happiness. Obviously, Trump, you know, he's a next level power mentality, you know what I mean? To become the president, you know, and go and be in, being from a fucking real estate dude, tycoon guy, you know what I mean? Fucking uh, just a rich dude, become the president, have all this power, piss all these people off. He's on his trip. You know what I mean? We all, we're all on a trip that we're on. You know what I mean? Some of y'all dudes are all about weed and, and fucking with that. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I don't, I'm a, like I said, I'm, I'm indifferent to Trump. You know what I mean? I don't support anything that he does that might disrespect anybody from a racist perspective that's fucking whack. Um, at the same time, you know what I mean? I've always respected anyone that hustles. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a big uh, supporter of people that grind and hustle. But nah, I don't respect, you know, corporations that, that, that push sugar to make people fat. You know, they're technically hustling, but they're, they're hurting people. I don't think Necro hurts people. Um, the only people I will hurt is if somebody disrespects me to my grill and you're in my face and you're making me feel pressure. I'm going to relieve that pressure by cracking you and getting violent. You know what I mean? Yes, I do support getting violent in certain situations because I believe sometimes when you talk to people, they don't they don't listen. They just don't fucking understand fucking peaceful, civilized talk. Some people do, but a lot of people don't, especially when someone's being aggressive and they're already in that mode. They, they respect getting punched in their fucking face. That wakes a motherfucker up. You know what I mean? But um, I don't want to get off topic. But yeah, you know, basically Trump is one of them subjects that people ask me about. I see people talking about it. I figure let's open up a discussion. Let me know what you think of this rant and my thoughts. And let me know your, your thoughts and your opinions. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm using this new camera now, the, the Canon G7X. I, was, I kept using the iPhone for all the first videos and shit was looking whack. So I hope this shit looks iller. I'll probably start fucking just using this. I had bought it specific, specifically to vlog, I think, because I saw that dude, Casey Nassat. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he had mentioned he fucks at this. And um, I think maybe Gary V too. Tell me, am I not bugging, but doesn't Gary V seem like the same dude as Casey? Even though they look a little bit different, they're almost like the same human. Like, it's weird. I don't know why. I just think they're like the same people. Gary and Casey are the same humans. Am I wrong? But yo, that's that. I'm going to get the, off this motherfucker. And uh, shameless promotions. Go to my patreon.com forward slash necro page for exclusive fucking membership. Back behind the scenes, exclusive stuff that they won't let me put on YouTube. Go to necroproduct.com for merch. And go to fucking Spotify and add all my songs to your playlist. I just dropped a brand new album. Don't act like you don't know. The Notorious Motherfucking Goriest. Also, now, The Notorious Tutorialist. <laughs> Contorialist with content. And go to subscribe to this YouTube channel, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So this shit could turn into a million. And also, if you want a personal shout-out, go to Cameo.com. And let's end it with a, I'm sure some of you will like it, some of you won't, with a big fuck you to Trump, motherfucker. Because you're pissing my fans off in Cali. Motherfucker. Fuck you.